Hey guys, I'm so excited for today's video because this is something that has been in the works for the brand for a very long time and you've seen from the thumbnail and the title that Wooden Sai is coming out with single eyeshadows. <laughs> now I'm laughing because I feel bad for them because they were supposed to launch these earlier this year. I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking about this, but I got actually sent all of these in PR like months and months and months ago. And when I got my package, about half of them were just completely destroyed. So there was something with the formulas that made them not safe to be shipped out. And they ended up breaking to most people who got them sent in PR. So they had to completely reformulate to make sure that they would handle the shipping process. And I'm happy to say that this time when I received them all in PR, they were all in one piece. They are so beautiful. I cannot wait to show you guys. So I'm going to have a lot of information in this video and I'm also going to have five looks. So we're just going to jump straight in. So these are going to launch on January 5th and there's going to be 42 shadows in total, which is a lot. So there's going to be 30 single shadows that are just shimmers and then 12 multichromes. So there's a lot to get through and I don't want to just make this a huge like swatch party video because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be doing that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some looks instead and I've kind of picked up my favorite shades that I want to work with and show you because I simply can't use all 40 something of these on my eyes because that is just too many eyeshadows. So I will show you some swatches of the shadows while I kind of tell you some more information. The shimmer shadows are going to retail for $7 each. The multichromes are going to be $15 each. They're going to have single eyeshadow containers for $3, as well as a 12 shadow empty palette that you can buy, which is going to be uh, $7. There's also going to be a couple of bundles. You can buy all of the shimmer shadows in a bundle together and you will get a 20% discount. So original price would be... $207 with 20% off, you will get it for $165. You can also stack affiliated codes on top of it, which I do have one. It's just a net and it will save you an extra 10%. Um, you can also buy the full set of multicombs, which is 12 of them, which is going to retail for $178, but with the 20% off discount, it'll be $143. Again, you can stack a code on top of it, so it'll be even more um, affordable. Um, I will have all of the information down below in my description box. I am like way pre-filming this. It is the day after Christmas today, and I'm going to be gone when this video is going up. So if I'm not replying to comments, I'm sorry. I'm probably in the middle of playing a Scrabble tournament, and I'm not seeing the comments. So. So, yeah, um, I'm kind of trying to like get all of this done before I leave on my trip, which feels like it's a lot of work, but I think I'm not going to show you the looks that I have done with the palette that I made myself because I thought since they sell 12 pen palettes, maybe I'll pick up my 12 favorite shades from this collection. And that's what I have here. And these are the ones that kind of jumped out to me when I was swatching them. I think they're absolutely stunning and I've had a really good time playing with all of these and I just want to show you the looks that I have done and then I can just kind of give you my I guess final thoughts at the end of the video but honestly I think these are great and I'm not surprised at all because I have never had any problems with shimmers from Udensai. I think they're beautiful. The only thing is sometimes they can tend to be a little bit hard pressed but I haven't found that with any of these and I think all of these formulas are amazing. So I'm excited. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the looks that I've done and then we can kind of sum up both at the end because I don't want this video to be like too, too long. And I want to try to jam as much information into as little time as possible here. So I have my crease work done and I'm going for sort of a festive look today. We're having a like a Christmas potluck at my Scrabble Club today. So I kind of want to do something with Christmas colors. I know this is going up after Christmas, but I really want to use this red shimmer because it looks so beautiful. This is a multi-chrome. I'm not sure exactly what it switches to, but it's definitely just like a very, very red, like a super red metallic shimmer. This is the shade called, I have it on my phone, so I don't have to take these out. This is the shade number 12 called Leon. So I'm definitely going to use some glitter primer. I'm probably gonna use three shimmers for this look, maybe two, we'll see. I do plan on using the iridescent green sort of underneath my eye here. That is the plan anyway. So I'm just gonna start by putting on a glitter primer. I can't, I literally can't wait to see what that red looks like on the eyes because I've never ever seen a red look that metallic in the pan before. For some reason it seems like red eyeshadows are really hard to make and I really hope it doesn't irritate my eyes because sometimes with reds they can make my eyes water and I I don't have time for that today. So hopefully that won't happen and it's just going to look really nice and beautiful. So I'm just going to use the sticky side of this brush. I'm going to pick up the 
red shimmer. We're gonna see what this looks like on the eyes. It picks up very nicely. And I'm just gonna go ahead and basically put that all over my lid, except for just a little bit of room in the inner corner. Wow, that is so, so, so red. And so metallic, that is insane. I don't think I've ever seen a red like this. If you like red eyeshadows, and you really want to get like the red shimmer, I think this might be the one for you because look at this, like this is crazy. Like I, I, I'll i be honest, I'm not seeing like that multi-chrome shift in it, but it's still a very, very unique shadow to my collection and I most certainly could not dupe this with anything. So for that reason, I do think maybe it's worth the extra price tag, but I'm still not really seeing a shift in it. I'll try with a mirror. Once I've kind of put this onto my eye, and we'll see if I see the shift that way. It still just looks red. Can you see that? It still just looks red, but it's really, really, really pretty. I think I am going to use another shimmer on my lid here, and I'm gonna take this other multi-chrome, which is sort of a, a yellowy, greeny, goldy, peachy shade. Not sure exactly how to explain this, but I think it's just gonna look really nice with this lid. I'm gonna figure out what this one is called as well. This one is the shade called Maya, so it's the number three multi-chrome. I'm just gonna pick that up on the same brush here, just the other side of my brush, and I'm gonna put that on the rest of the front of my lid. Wow. That is stunning. That is so beautiful. Like these multi-chromes oh, are so special. And I'm honestly so happy that Unisai came out with like only shimmers because even though I love their mattes, I really feel like their shimmers are spectacular and I'm sure they'll come out with mattes at some point, but I'm glad that this is where they started because maybe you're someone who you've seen their palettes and you've been interested in them, but you haven't really been in love with the color stories, but you really wanted to try the shimmers. I feel like this is a really, really good place to start with the brand. I am kind of just layering that over the red as well. Oh, I love this. I think if I get a little bit of just green underneath my eye here, this is gonna be a super festive look without maybe screaming Christmas in your face even though that is kind of what I'm going for because I have like Christmas canes in my ear and stuff, but you know. And I'm also having no irritation with that red so far, which is great. I mean, this looks insane. I cannot get over how good that looks. I'm next gonna take the, I just wanna make sure it is, oh, wow, look at that, that's so pretty. <laughs> I mean, I've swatched these already, but I think in studio lighting, they look a little bit different. So I'm gonna take this shade, which, does look to have a bit of a blue reflect to it, but I think layered over that green, I think it's mostly gonna pull greens. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this a little bit just so I don't get any fallout or anything like that. And I'm just gonna put that, that is exactly, wow, what I wanted. Damn, that looks so good. <laughs> I just went ahead and put on some lashes. So this is going to be the first completed look and I love this. I mean, these shadows are absolutely insane. Like I cannot stop looking at it, especially that green under my eye is just so popping. I feel like this is very festive without being festive in your face. Like I feel like I could wear this look on a non-Christmas holiday thing and people wouldn't look at me and be like, wow, you're so Christmas. Like depending on what I was wearing, if I was just wearing like something else that wasn't really holiday related. I feel like it's not that holiday, but just a little bit. <laughs> I really like this and I'm so excited to keep playing with these shadows. I don't know as of this moment how many looks I'm going to do, but I'm super inspired. And even though I've already used three shades, there are so many things I can do with this little palette and I'm excited to just keep having fun with these. So I'm going to do a super simple look today. As you can tell, I really wanted my lipsticks to be kind of the star of the show, which I usually don't go for that, but I just really wanted to wear this. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, it is the Pat McGrath Blitz Trans Lipstick in Cyber Orchid. I do have it over a nude lip liner. So if you wanted to really have it be like pinky purpley, I would use a pinky purpley lip liner and then put it on top, but I think it's beautiful. So I think I'm just gonna slap this shade all over my lid. I did put out a bit of a, like a peachy shade and I used an Odin side palette. I used the 
Verdandi palette and I just used this shade basically all over my lid as a bit of a base just to have something to blend it into. Next I'm going to put down some of my NYX glitter primer like I always do. Just going to pat that all over my lid. Not being precise at all here. I really want to just put that shimmer all over. Like I could easily do an all shimmer look if I was in the mood for that, but I really just feel like it looks nicer when you blend a shimmer into a matte. That could just be me though. So I'm going to pick out the shade, which is a shade called Charlotte. And I'm just going to basically put this all over my lid. And I think it's just going to look really, really pretty. Oh, it's so shiny and so sparkly. And this isn't even one of the, the multi-chromes. This is just a shimmer eyeshadow. And I think for being a shimmer eyeshadow, this is really, really special. There's so many sparkles in it. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I knew it would be pretty, but I didn't think it would be this pretty. And it goes so nicely together with that matte that I put down as well. Like I said, I didn't need the matte, but I just feel like it looks a little bit better when you blend it into a matte eyeshadow. Okay, I need to stop. I have too much eyeshadow on my eye right now. But that looks so pretty. Like, look at that shine. Oh, I think this is all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up. I'll do some lashes. I'll probably do a bit of a brow bone highlight as well. Let me just do that with you. I'm using the Nocti Loosen palette from Blend Buddy. I'm just gonna take the shade up here called Phenomena. And I'm just gonna use that as my brow bone highlight. And I think that's gonna be basically the gist of this look. Like I said, I really wanted this to be just super quick and easy. And I just... I feel like sometimes using shadows on their own showcases them a little bit better and since I'm not really someone who likes to do eye swashes because my eyes can't handle that, I feel like this is a good way to uh, to show off a shadow. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off and I'll show you the final look. Okay, so this got a little bit out of hand because I was like, let me do one little rhinestone and then I started putting one rhinestone on and all of a sudden I have four on each side. That's what happens, but I really like it. I think it's very cute. It's super simple. My lashes look a little bit wonky today, and I don't really know why this one isn't looking as good. They look good from like up top though. It's just I feel like my regular lashes got a little bit clumpy on this side, so I'm not sure what's going on here, but that's just what we're dealing with today. So that's going to be the second look. I really like it. I'm gonna try to use a couple more shades in my my next one because I do want to try out probably most of these if I'm able to. I don't know yet how many looks I'm gonna do, but let's go ahead and do one more. So I have the base for the next look done, and I think I want to use these two shades today. Maybe a little bit of this one, possibly a little bit of this green as well, or turquoise, I should say. I haven't really decided where I'm going with this, but I wanted to just do like a wing and then do some shimmers on the lid. I'm gonna start with this shade. And I think I wanna work with like the blues and the greens for the next look. I really wanna feature this shade and this shade as well. They're so pretty, but I only have so many eyes and it's tough to like really show off beautiful shimmers unless you use them kind of on their own. So I'm going to start with this shade. I'm first going to put on some glitter primer though because I forgot to do that already. I'm just going to take that all over the front portion of my lid as well as layering it a little bit over that mat that I have in the outer corner. I do have a tutorial on how to do a look like this. I can link that up in the corner. It's my kind of signature hooded eyes eyeshadow wing type thing for put it eyes, which I just said, but it's super, super easy. I'm gonna take this shade first. Like I said, this is a shade called Ava. It's 03. I'm just gonna pick that up on my same sticky side of the brush here. This is definitely m one of the more kind of thicker, flakier formulas, but I think it's gonna spread out very nicely on the lid still because I have had this formula from Unza in the past and I really, really enjoy it. Like that is really pretty. Now this is, Definitely more of just your basic shimmer that doesn't have any kind of... I don't think this is a duochrome. I can't really tell and I couldn't really tell this swatch either. I don't think it's a duochrome. I think it's just a really, really beautiful shimmer. So I'm taking it quite a lot into the wing here as well. I just like doing my mattes first, even if I do plan on kind of layering stuff over the top of it because it's a lot easier to get a shape down. Uh, with mattes than it is with shimmers and I think this looks really really pretty. I'm super curious what that multi-chrome is going to look like. 
next to this. And another reason why I'm putting on a lot of this is because I'm probably going to end up layering the multi-chrome a lot over this as well, because I really want that multi-chrome to show the shift. And if you're going to use a multi-chrome, you really want to use it over a large surface area. So I'm just going to put this on where it is that I want it to be, just leaving the front portion of the lid here open. And I think this is pretty much going to be it for this shade. And I'm next going to go into this one, like I said, which is, let me just find the name of this as well. It's a lot easier to look on my phone because I took a picture of the backside of this so that I don't have to pop them out every time. This is the shade called Judy. It's the 06 Multichrome. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that on the rest of my lid. That is really pretty. Oh man, these Multichromes from Wunzai are spectacular. If you've been on the lookout to try multi-chromes, maybe you don't have a lot of multi-chromes, I'd say these are a very, very good place to start. So I'm just taking that on the front of my lid and layering it over that shade that I just put down. Just keeping this kind of low down. I don't really want it to go all the way up into my crease, just a little bit. I think this is looking pretty even on both sides. I really like this. Let's see if there is a shift in this. Oh yeah, that is a very strong blue turquoise shift. Like, do you see that? I wasn't expecting that at all. That is really, really pretty. Yeah, look at that shift. That is stunning. Wow. Very, very unexpected. So I think because this has a bit of a turquoise shift to it, I'm going to take some of this shade and put that on the front portion of my lower lash shine. This one is the shade called Jacob and it's the number 16. I'm just going to pick that up on a small pencil brush. I'm going to try it first without spraying it and just put a little bit of this right here. I don't want a lot, just a little bit. That is beautiful. And I'm also going to take some of the iridescent shade that I already used in my, I think it was the first look I did. And I'm just going to put that in the very, very inner corner of my eye, just a little bit right there. It's looking kind of similar to the shade that I just put down, but that's okay. Yeah, this one definitely has more of a, a yellowy green shift to it. I feel like I can definitely see the difference in these two now. That is beautiful as well. I'm going to just take it up onto my lid a little bit. I don't want to blend these in together too much, but I do want there to be a bit of a blend. And I think that's honestly all I'm going to do for the shadows for this look. And I mean, I did use three, so I feel like I did a pretty good... Actually, I'm using four. And just to tie it all together, I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight as well. That is insanely beautiful. Wow. Okay, I think that was a really good decision. Oh, I really like that. That's cool. All right, so I put on some lashes. I did some highlighter. I'm still using the Noctilucent palette on my cheek because I just can't help myself. And I really like how this look turned out. I also did some turquoise in my waterline, which I'm using the same eyeliner that I used in my last look. I'm pretty sure it's this one from Unsai. It's the 04. I've been really enjoying these liners lately. There are some that were a bit of a miss in the beginning and some that kind of broke right away. But honestly... I've been using them and they're honestly really good. So if you've been looking for eyeliners, I would recommend them. Just be aware that they might take a little time to warm up. You might have to like rub them a little bit on your hand and just, you know, get used to using them because in the beginning they might seem a little bit dry, but the more you use them, the creamier they get. And I really enjoy them. So I really like this look too. I think it turned out super fun and I really like matching my outfits. So that's kind of what I did today. So I think that's going to be it for the third look. I think I'm going to end up doing five looks in this video. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. And I think I'll have time to do two more. So we're just going to jump into the fourth look. It is time for another look. And I'm sort of in a hurry today as well. I mean, really, what's new? <laughs> today is Christmas morning. We're going over to in-laws for gifts and crepes and dinner and just a good old time. So I'm just kind of getting ready. It's pretty early in the morning. I'm just going to put on some glitter primer here. I've just put down some greens and teals in my crease because I want to work with the blues in here as well as the greens. So let's see. I'm going to find the name of these shadows again so that I can tell you what I'm using. 
I'm gonna start with the dark blue here, which is the shade 20 called Anthony. I'm gonna take that on the sticky side of this brush and I'm just gonna put that pretty much in the outer corner, just sort of layer it over that dark matte that I have in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna use some of the greens on my lid and probably still use that iridescent shade, the, the green one in my inner corner because that is honestly one of my favorite shades from this collection. This is beautiful as well. I don't think any of you are surprised that I love the iridescent shades. Um, I almost picked the yellow one as well that is in here, but honestly, I just, I feel like I use a yellow iridescent shade so often that I was like, well, let me pick something else even though it is a beautiful shade. And if you want iridescent shades, I would highly, highly recommend these ones from Unzai. I think they're absolutely stunning. And this shade is so pretty too. Super metallic very shiny, sparkly. This one does seem to have sort of a black base to it. So I would definitely recommend layering it maybe over something kind of dark like I did here because that worked so well. Now next, I'm gonna take the shade next to it, which is this one. And this one is so pretty as well. I can't wait to use this. I'm looking down again to find a name. This one is called Kevin. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that on the rest of my lid and then we're gonna use the iridescent shade I think in the inner corner I think it's gonna be really pretty this one is also a little bit of a chunkier formula but it does spread out very nicely on the lid and it also picks up nicely on my brush so no issues at all with any of these formulas getting them to do what they want because they are just looking so pretty. So none of these two are multi-chromes. These are both just regular shimmers, but honestly, I don't feel like they're regular by any means. I think they are really, really pretty. And I do want to test out this shade up in the corner, which I don't think I've used this too much. I've used it a little bit, but I wanna use it a little bit more. This is the shade called Jacob, I'm pretty sure I used that sort of in the same way in my last look I used underneath my eye. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in the front portion of my lid here. I maybe could have used a little bit more, but I didn't have enough room. I should have planned that out better, but I didn't because like I said, sort of in a hurry, gotta go pretty quickly. So I just want to sort of finish up with my makeup, hence why I didn't do anything fancy today either because I just didn't want to spend the time. So this isn't looking too different from the green one because I'm using so little of it and blending it into a similar shade. But I'm just gonna finish off. I'm gonna take the iridescent shade and I'm gonna put that underneath my eye because I love the way that it looks on the lower lash line. I just, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> My lashes are on and this is the completed look and I love it. I mean, look, if there is one thing that I love when it comes to color combinations is green and blues and I just, you can't go wrong. You just can't. I mean, it's always gonna turn out great. I feel awesome in this look, even though it was super simple. All I used was two mattes in my crease and the shimmers and that's it. And then I put on some lashes. I'm using the half lashes from Auric in the shade, in the, in the style, in the style Clouded and I think it turned out wonderfully. So. I'm gonna go enjoy myself the rest of the day and I'm gonna do one more look in this video. So you will see that very soon, but that's gonna be the final look and then I will sum up with my, my thoughts on this collection. So far, I'm just really enjoying it. So let's go ahead and finish up with this last look and I'm thinking for today's look, I actually wanna use two shades that when I saw them at first, I really didn't think that they would end up being so kind of special and something that I wanted to use because these are kind of neutral shimmers. I want to use this one and this one. And there's just something about these formulas that are so beautiful. Like this kind of taupey purple, it has so many little sparkles in it. It's so pretty. And this sort of goldy, like toned down gold, more like a taupe shade looks so beautiful as well. So I'm going to start with this shade, which is the shade called Robert. And I'm just gonna pick that up on the sticky side of my brush here. I did put on some glitter primer and I'm trying to keep these looks, you know, kind of simple because I really wanna show off like the shimmer shades that are in this collection without like the mattes kind of distracting and taking away from uh, like how beautiful these shadows are because they are stunning. So I'm taking that on pretty much like 
the middle of my lid and also blending it out into that matte shade. I'm not doing anything fancy here at all. I really just want to put these shimmers on my lid so you can see what they look like. And this is a really pretty shade. If you're someone who is more kind of into neutrals, like this would work so nicely together with some neutral mattes. But as you can see, it also works really well together with colorful mattes. And it's really, really pretty. Like, I don't know what it is about this shade that just made me so drawn to it because like I said, normally it's not the kind of color that I would go for, but I think it's really, really pretty. I'm next gonna go in with that other shade, which is the lighter of the two. I'm gonna find the name of that one. That one is the shade called Kevin. Just taking that on the other side of this brush here. And I'm just gonna put that basically on the rest of my lid. That is also just so sparkly and so beautiful. And also, if you're someone who's into neutrals, you're going to love this shade. I mean, look at that. That is such a pretty neutral kind of champagne-y gold shade. And it's just so impactful. I love, I love how that looks on the lid. These shadows definitely perform best over a tacky base. Just something to keep in mind. Like, I can see this one being a little troublesome if you try to use it dry especially with a dry brush but i think with a finger it's definitely going to work well but i really i can just tell that this needs a bit of a tacky base to really perform at its best here but look how pretty that is and just to finish off i'm not sure if i've used this shade yet but this one has a bit of a green shift to it so maybe i haven't used it I'm thinking because these are multi-chromes, like I'm trying to look at it from the side so I can see because here I see blue, green, yellow. And when I see from the front, I see purple, kind of orangey and peach. So sometimes they can be a little bit tricky to work with, but I think I'm just going to take this shade underneath my eye on the front portion here. I'm sorry if there's been like a shade here that I haven't used or something. It's really hard to keep track of everything. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this a little bit here just because it can tend to not stick as well if you don't. So I'm basically just using a lot of this because I love it. <laughs> oh, I love these multi-chromes so much. I think they're so beautiful. I have had a little bit of creasing with these, nothing too crazy, and I've been able to wear them all day while they still stayed on my lid, but like I said, a little bit of creasing so if you're someone who do experience a lot of creasing maybe like get one or two and try them out for yourself and see if the formula is for you i'm pretty sure these are not going to be limited edition at all so i don't think you need to rush out and like buy all of them all at once unless you think you're going to love them but i don't think that these are going to crease too badly on anybody because the shadows that crease on me don't always crease on everyone else. So if something does crease on me a little bit, it's probably just going to mean they're going to crease a little bit on other people as well. Because like I said, I do tend to get some creasing. Did this get a little bit out of hand? Possibly, but I don't even care because I think it looks so pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up. All right, so I didn't do lashes today because I simply just didn't feel like it. And I just did some nude in my waterline and that's pretty much it. So... Those are going to be all of the five looks that I have done with this collection. I would highly recommend you to just check out everyone else's videos as well if you're interested in these eyeshadows because we're all only going to have a couple of looks in our videos because there are so many eyeshadows and we simply can't use all of them. So hopefully the other people that are making videos on this collection are going to have used some of the shadows that I haven't used so you can see what those looks like on the eyes as well. Um, but yeah, I... Like I said, I'm sorry I don't have time to do more looks with these, but they are absolutely stunning and I would recommend them if you are interested, but also go check out other people's videos as well. So I think those are basically going to be my thoughts on the new single shadows. I mean, I love them. You could tell everything that I did. They look beautiful on the eyes. They wear well. I don't have any issues applying them. I think that they're beautiful. So those are just going to be my thoughts. Let me know if this is something that you're interested in. I hope this video was at least somewhat helpful. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of videos out here with this collection. So just go ahead and check out their videos as well. Because some people are better at doing swatches. Some people are better at doing looks. I'm definitely not someone who's very good at swatches. So you're going to be able to see better swatches on other people's channels. So yeah, 
I think this is just where I'm going to leave it. If you want to see some more Unzai content, um, I'll put my playlist up on the screen. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.